Hello everybody, my name is Kant PK, and I'm very sorry for the lackluster microphone quality. I do not have a proper microphone, so I'm going to use my webcam mic. It is actually not extremely bad, but it's not amazingly good. Anyway, so today I have a commentary for you on Medal of Honor Warfighter. I'm using the Spec Ops class, which a lot of people seem to be using, including myself, and I'm not excusing myself from using it. Uh, I'm just saying, you know, a lot of people do use this class because it is, in my opinion, quite an overpowered class. And this gameplay right here is showing you how overpowered it is and how this gun, the AK-103 um, the AK bullpup, is really, really overpowered with the class. And I think that this class should be, uh, should be, what's a Medigger? Uh, nerfed? And, uh, other classes should be, okay, this class should either be nerfed or they should, um, increase other classes, uh, other classes damage, you know, stuff like that, um, and basically just give other classes a fighting chance against this, uh, spec ops class, because you, you run fast, you have, uh, submachine gun weapons, you look through walls, it's really, uh, and you have grenades, it's, it's uh, it's obviously the best class because of what it has. It has a radar jammer. You get so many extra points for using the radar jammer. You get um, a really powerful pistol, and it's I don't I don't, I I mean like I, this is a bit of a rant on my side. I don't understand how they could let this class be um uh, be buffed. With the uh, with the late with the first patch, I don't understand how they could let it be buffed because it wasn't this amazing in the beta. I mean, sure it was good, but it wasn't as good. And they just it's quite overpowered in my opinion. Anyway, so I'm gonna be okay now that I've got my point through. I'm gonna be talking about tips for this class and if they actually do nerf it what my speculations are for nerfing it and how you can get around it if they nerf it and you really like using this class because of the weapons and such so my speculations are well tips first use the d-pad up as often as you can because that thing is your friend if you're in a tough situation you're gonna wanna use that um... also um... After using this class for a while, uh, sure the uh, the I think it's the Daniel Defense Gun that you unlock first, the DD or I think it's the DDMK18 or something like that. Um, that gun using the iron sight is quite good. Uh, I recommend it instead of using a uh, optic because because I feel it doesn't give as good as a performance, as good as a uh, as good accuracy as you would from the iron sight. That's just my opinion. So you know, if you have a uh, opinion, uh, if you have your opinion on that, I'd like to hear what you have to comment. Like, oh, what's the best setup before you unlock the bullpup rifle, um, or even after? Let me know in the comment section below if you can. Um, anyway, so I think that uh, this class will be nerfed in the very soon future. Um, because people are going to be complaining about how, well, some people will be complaining about how overpowered it is. Some won't. Um, but anyway, uh, I think that the guns will either have more, will have a lot more recoil added to them, and have a reduced damage. Um, the class will obviously remain fast because that's uh, a good po portion of the class. And uh, also the, um, I think that the the class might not be able to take as much <clears throat> damage as other classes. I'm not sure if that's uh, right. Like I don't know if the demolition doesn't take as much damage as the spec ops or something. But I think that if they were to do a nerf, that that would be a possibility. And they might even make the um, wait time for the Spec Ops Vision longer and make it less effective. So I can see all of those things happening 
and all of those things will definitely balance out the class more but also make it um, uh, useless to other classes uh, compared to other classes useless compared to other classes um, and the reason I say that is because if you want a power if you want some someone who's fast and has a powerful gun uh, for close quarters and this guy gets patched like the way in the spec house gets patched the way I said well the um, the point man is the guy you want to go to and uh, let's say the uh, the array era, um, I, I'm sorry I lost my place and let's say that the um, you need your guys dying too much you know who you're gonna switch to the demolitions class because he has a tank stand mode so when you're going into that heavily fortified room, you're like, hey, I'm going to put on this tank stand, kill a few people, maybe, or maybe not get out of there, but I still got to kill a lot of people. Um, and then there's the, uh, all the other classes, like, oh, you want long range. I mean, this has, the guns in this one have a uh, decent range. Um, long range sniper, obviously. Um, you want to be... I don't know. There's really you. You switched all the other classes because of all the different possibilities and perks that the other classes have over this one, um, and so that's uh, in order to get around that. You know what you and you actually like using this class after if this get if this class gets patched the way I think it will, and in order to get around it and actually use the class properly. What you're gonna want to do is not use your uh, spec op vision as often. And what you do is when you're entering a building like right now in this, like right here, you will use the spec op vision and take a little dash, take a little look around and see what you can get. And then uh, let's say the uh, gun gets more recoil and the uh, the gun has reduced range or reduced damage, stuff like that. What you're gonna want to do is because your class is a rushing class you're gonna want to go up and rush and just hip fire don't aim in because when a gun has increased recoil the p the possibility of you winning a gunfight while aimed in in close quarters is very very slim um, some guns I mean you may win over some guns that have 20 bullets and you may lose over some pistols even so I think that the best way you will actually win a gunfight is if you hip fire because um, this game has a similar sort of way like kill zone 3 um, and in kill zone 3 they had uh, they had the the game was basically around hip firing and there wasn't as much aiming in if you were in uh, like if you were in low mid range to close quarters that would be hip fire territory and then beyond would be that. But the the thing about it is that this game has similar attributes to Killzone in the sense that uh, the way the maps are designed are quite similar, in my opinion. Um, and so I feel that the guns also have a similar control, like in Killzone 3, as they do like they do in this game. Because um, I mean I I can show you later on because I don't have a gameplay right now, but I can show you later on a hip fire only gameplay uh, and it'll be as as effective as the uh, this gameplay right here if even that and maybe even more I'm sorry I'm kinda nah, in the brain um, anyway so basically that's how I feel this class this class will turn out in the future and that's how I feel that you can stop this that's how I feel if you actually like the class like I do I actually like the class because of the guns then and it's not because the guns are overpowered or anything it's because I actually like the look of the guns like so that sometimes has a has a role in the game like uh, I know for Call of Duty I can't like it, I like using the skins but if I use the skins I don't do as well as if I don't use the skins and I and I'll be fighting as the same people and I'll get better results if I just take no camo on my gun so anyway I just like how the guns look and when you like how your gun looks you know that you can do well and uh, basically that's how I feel the class will turn out and that's how I feel you can counter the patch if this if, if this class gets patched that's how I feel you can uh, counter the 
possibility of a nerf on this class. So anyway, thanks for watching this Cottage PA signing out. Hope you enjoyed the commentary. I'm sorry if it seems rushed. I'm just trying to get a commentary out to you guys. Um, I expect more commentaries coming next week and during this weekend, actually. During this weekend, I have a four-day weekend. Anyway, thanks for watching this Cottage PA signing out. Hope you enjoyed the commentary. Bye.